Hello, and welcome to BlackBerry 10 Gem Unplugged. In this series, we will join hands and explore everything of BlackBerry 10 SDK today and tomorrow. Today, we are joined with Jordi Ferguson, who is one of the architects for BlackBerry 10. Jordi will be here to talk to us about headless applications. Jordi is a fantastic architect. He dreams of architecture. He likes to do architecture in an architecting way. He loves architecture so much, he's even named his dog Protractor. Jordi? Tim. How about we start off with talking about what exactly is a headless application? Yeah, let's start there. Starting at the, starting the, what it is and getting the construct is really important because it's not really a common construct that people are used to when they're building applications. In fact, when you think application, the first things that jump to mind are generally the user interface. Uh, within BlackBerry 10, we think about the you know cascades controls and all the fancy bits that you can pull together to to wow users from that perspective. But in reality, uh, you know, a lot of times what's important is the things that the user doesn't see. So it's what goes on behind the scenes that can really add value. Uh, and and specifically, when you look at that, I mean, think of it in these terms: if you are able to to add value and you're doing your processing and you're and you're managing whatever domain it is that you're managing, but you're able to do that without interacting with the user. That's in effect where you're adding maximal value because you, you're able to do that in an autonomous way. Um, so if you look at the platform and, and we're even going with the platform, when you interact with the platform as a user, what you're seeing is really the, the tip of a very big iceberg. Um, those user interactions are backed by a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes. And so what we're looking at now is bringing that kind of power to application developers at large and allowing them to leverage the ability of background processing and headless apps as well. Right, right. Now, headless applications sound a little gruesome. Um, you know, the headless horseman gives me night terrors. One time I almost soiled myself. Um, is there anything uh, that we're doing with headless applications that might help with some of my fears? Right. Well, I mean, certainly I can see that it might make someone break a sweat, but from a developer's perspective, I would certainly think that that would be more out of excitement than fear. I think where the intrigue is added is much more from the platform perspective. Uh, again, when you think of what we're doing when we build these kinds of platforms, <clears throat> we're often wearing two hats. Uh, one hat where we're in, in the role of enablement and trying to, trying to bring new features and, and, and facilities to development of applications. And on the other, on the other side, we're, we're really more sort of governance. We're sort of standing in front as a, as a guardian from the user's perspective saying, let's not allow things to happen within the platform that the user doesn't want that are obvious. And so it's striking that balance that, that certainly will bring night terrors to some. But from our perspective, um, that's where the interesting uh, facility Very lies. interesting. Now, I, I know sometimes, you know, when I get up in the morning, I, I like to put my hair up in an updo and I, I use a curling iron and it uses a lot of power. Is there anything that we're doing for headless applications that might need some more power? Will they all be flaccid in the same? Certainly when we look at the platform and, and the governance, you know, I referenced the fact that we have two roles as a platform and, and, and the governance role. When we talk about that governance, one of the things we're talking about is how we manage resources on the platform. It's pretty amazing in, the, in this day and age when you look at the power of the devices we have, you're talking about multiple cores, multiple gigs of memory on these things that we're still talking about resource constraints, but the fact of the matter is that in mobile computing, they'll probably always be that facet. So there'll always be a role um, and a hat that we wear from the platform perspective of trying to protect that. And so what we're, what we're doing now, um, as we start thinking through how we bring the power of background apps or headless apps to the app developers, is how to give them that power, but also maintain order in the constructs of how we're doling out resources like CPU usage and memory and so forth, and battery specifically. Very good. Now, I must know, Jordi, do you enjoy soup? Soup is an acquired taste, and, and I'm working on it. You know, it's one of those things that you, you, you have to sort of practice at. So I wouldn't say I'm there. But I'm saying I'm on my way. Very good, very good. Well, thank you, Jordi. It's been just fabulous listening to your views both on architecture, headless applications, and soup. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for this episode of BlackBerry 10 Jam Unplugged. And I'd like to invite you to join us for more episodes where we can explore everything that's going on with the BlackBerry 10 SDK. And remember, the most vile vegetables that are in the garden are lettuce, turnip, and pea. Thank you.